the screen. But joining us here in the studio is Eddie Sekamwa, who is the proprietor of Kiakego. Huh? It's called Chakego. Chakego. Yeah. Chakego Sports, Sports Arena. Arena in Fort Porto. And we're very excited to know that this is the first time motocross is coming to Fort Porto City. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, good evening, viewers. Do you want to tell us how it all started, how you got put onto the calendar? Uh, but before it does that, we need to greet people mm. in the right way. Uh, in so Moti, uh, good to have you, but do, do you mind giving us a bit of background, you know, why for Porto City, and I know you've been passionate, you even uh, before uh, here, you're telling me about your, your children, and from a very early age, mm. you know, I think you had this dream or this desire. Yeah, for four years. Uh, for like like uh, my, my first born who is in motocross it's called Larry Sekamo. he started when he was four years and he's now nine nine yeah nine years wow. and you're not scared of any head injury no. or anything no <laughs> but uh, in motocross mm -hmm. safety first mm -hmm. Mm. and actually we, we, uh, we have uh, less less injuries compared to other sports like football and and other maybe, maybe rugby Mm. <laughs> yeah. okay. I was actually surprised about the injuries in, no, motor, no, no, in the safety. motor racing. You can imagine, they don't usually get those injuries mm. that you'd expect. The way they fly those motorbikes, yeah. oh mm. my god, it's crazy. It's fun, and actually that's the fun bit of it. Mm. Yeah, but you'd feel maybe they would break a neck or something. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking necks. Hey. Uh, no. uh, uh, maybe, uh, Mebo, uh, let me try to set a scene. You know, this topic is, I'm, I'm quite passionate about it, mm -hmm. but for obvious reasons as well, I mean, it's coming home, home yeah. and uh, I think I will be there uh, we shall be together Please. 28th of May yes for the first time ever the national championship motocross national championship is not happening in Kampala or in Tel. normally it happens in uh, Busika or Garuga hmm. but for the first time it's leaving town and it will be in Fort Porto at Kiakaigo sports arena now, just a little bit of background b before we get into motion with uh, with uh, Eddie. Mm. The, the arena is as old as two years. Actually, we're making two years. Oh. So, started in 2021. The very first event happened December that year. Mm. And it was just, you know, get together, riders, motor, motor rally. And then uh, in July of last year as well, they had another event. Then last December, Last December I was actually there in Fort. Uh, they now invited riders. First it was motorists or riders. So the whole point was to prepare, you know, warm yeah. up. Mm -hmm. And I was very happy when Eddie uh, told me we have been added on the national championship, fourth round. So what that means, the best of the best riders in Uganda will be in Fort Porto, and those points count towards the national championship. So, Amazing. Eddie, just tell us what that means for Fort Porto, perhaps the other uh, region. Of course, uh, moving moving from central mm. region to Fort Porto, mm. if, I mean, we, we, have, we have to be proud. Mm. Uh, like, uh, people in Fort Porto, they're going to watch the cream of Uganda. <laughs> mm. Yeah? For the first time, to move from, from central to, to western Uganda. Mm. Of, of course, as, as Watoro, we feel proud. Hmm. We feel proud. We collect and take take back to hmm. to the locals. How, how about the numbers? How are the numbers? Uh, uh, the revelers of the people who come to watch. How how, of how no, much interest uh, are people? You see, uh, we have to build the fan base in Fort Porto. Hmm. First, first of all, we have to build the fan base. It's not easy, but you have, because we have to keep on building the fan base. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, speaking of. Uh, 
it being the first time mm. you are having this kind of arrangement and mm. being on a national calendar yeah. that means uh, it takes a lot of preparation yeah. mentally and of course uh, physically to sit with that you stage something very nice mm. maybe to attract more people like you talked of mm. next time and for years to come mm. how prepared are you mm. at yeah. Chakai? we are prepared because mm. uh, uh, last 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 year on December 31st we had a very successful event mm. Mm. people came like uh, they couldn't imagine mm. this is real they used to say, yeah. hey, but is it real mm. but now like like as I told you building a fan base and people s to know the motocross mm. it takes time mm. but I, I'm, I'm sure uh, I'm sure this event because we're going to have the best of the, the best, best of the best mm. Mm. so I think people will, will come and uh, and support uh, when they talked of the numbers the very first event mm. the numbers released by Kiakai Go Sports Arena were 10,000 around 10,000 people then uh, December was about 30,000 then yeah. you had another one on Easter that you see uh, Kiakai Go uh, we have a motocross and the rally, and motor rally, and motor rally. Yeah. yes so th for the motor rally mm. The fan base is big in Fort mm. Porto. Mm. Yeah, that's right. But for, let me say, Pichi Pichi. Mm. Pichi Pichi. They're still building. Yes, they're still building. Oh, okay. And you can't just give up because we don't, you don't have uh, mm. the fan base for moto, motocross. Mm. So we have to build it. Mm. How big is that truck there? Yeah. Mm. The truck is big. It's mm. on, uh, on eight, eight acres. Eight acres. For, for all, for just motocross mm. oh. but for for the whole motocross and uh, and the and the and rally 35 35, 35 acres. acres yeah so how will you distinguish yourselves in port portal uh, you know um what is special or what how from kampala and in tebe where uh, the races have always been what is mm. special about it what can people expect that will be different that they should make the 200 kilometer mm. almost uh, 300 kilometer journey to Fort Port? Uh, let me let me let me let me let me say like this if, because uh, we want to be the best like in South Africa they they move from uh, Johannesburg to Cape Town almost 700 kilometers mm. Mm. so it is only in Uganda people they don't want to move Nice. But but yeah. but even yeah, even yeah, yeah. In, even in in other let me, let me say in Europe, people move from Manchester to Liverpool from. Mm. So we should learn to move, yeah. not always. Yeah. Uh, we move. Uh. It, uh, I'm, I'm just to, to add, actually, I mean, Fort Porto is the tourist city. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 at least that's the vision. That's the, <laughs> that's the dream. Yes. And 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 at least most of the people I've dealt with, they love just an excuse to get out of Kampala. Yeah. And, and yes, if that exactly. excuse takes you to Fort Porto, trust me, oh, yeah. and, and in terms of, of earnings and the numbers and yes, all, yes. every time there's a rally in Fort Porto, I have my friends calling me, Andrew, which, which hotel, which, which, where can we go? They're all sold out. Like, they're mm. all sold out. Mm. So I think that's, that's a good problem economically, yeah. but mm. also a reason to move. And, and the one thing with the rally, at least it's, uh, it's adrenaline, but also mm. for people see, to go and you have see fun like, and like the, the July the July last year, July mm. event, mm. people booked up to Kasese. Yeah. Oh, yes. Wow. The like Kasese was the nearest was, place to be. Porto was fully booked. <laughs> <laughs> fully booked. Yeah, 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 yes. excited. Mm. So they, mo they moved up to Kasese. That was the nearest. That's about an hour's drive. Yes. Uh, how so are you getting the younger people? I know your sons are involved, but mm. other younger people in the community, how are you giving them opportunities or how are you attracting them uh, you know to you take uh, part not just know, spectate you know you have to move you have to move uh, uh, motocross mm. from central to Fort Porto mm. so you, like people can the parents can see mm. they can admire the kids and say oh can I bring my kid mm -hmm. so like that mm. so mm. You, you have to move you, you have to come and watch and and see the and lo you <coughs> loving the sport. Mm. Come and watch, see the how the kids are, are doing. Mm. 
As a racing parent, yes. uh, what advice would you give another parent mm -hmm. in as far as financing the game is concerned and how easy is it to yeah. be recruited into the game and make them love it? Like you said, you are doing that effort in Fort Porto mm. to make people love the game and even involve their children. You know, uh, motocross, mm. we call it, uh, it's a family. Mm. Mm. <coughs> I can let me say I can be having a, 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 a gear like like a boot. Mm. Mm. Another parent can can give you a helmet. Oh, that can happens. Give you, yes, okay. wow. we, we support each other. It's a it's a family. Hey, okay, it's a family. So mm. never scared to come. Please, mm. join us. Yes. I know, but just to dig deeper, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to dig deeper, you have two kids. Yes, and I'm told mm. in motocross, mm. you change brakes at least twice a year. Yes. And the bike goes for what? $8,000, that's mm, about over, over 30. I mean, even the little bikes. Mi million. Yeah. Mm, you got yeah, a shilling? So, so and like even children. You must, you must be rich, know. Eddie. But <laughs> like how do you do that? <laughs> but you see, uh, it's not like when you have a fast, fast riders, when, when like a rider is fast, mm. Mm. but not, uh, not this, uh, la this uh, slow riders. Mm -hmm. You don't need... Uh, Okay, but slow when, when the riders. Kids competitive. Mm. Can have one in, when you, you need, change. You need, you need, you need to keep on changing bikes. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So it affects mostly yes. those uh, very competitive kids. Yes. yes. Okay. Mm. But still, mm. don't stop to come. <laughs> <laughs> so what must you guys do to mm. ensure that this leg mm. stays in Fort Porto? Even next season, you have a leg in Fort Porto. Like, what are some of the Things FME are saying, you guys, you need to. Of course, of course, we have to to do better. Mm. Most uh, like safety, mm. Mm -hmm. safety first. Yeah. Uh, 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 crowd control. With uh, other like safety, crowd control, and other things, mm. they consider to to give you another chance to host. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. You you have enough sponsors. Yeah, we're looking for sponsors. Of course. You do you have enough sponsors? We are looking for no, sponsors. No, we're looking for sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so okay. Yeah. Okay. So well, I'm sure people, potential sponsors, are watching. Yeah. And uh, they can get in touch with you. Please. <laughs> so what would your final words be? Uh, for the sponsors, of course we have numbers. Mm. When it comes to numbers, we have mm. spectators. Mo motocross, motor rally, we have numbers. When you compare with other other games, mm. other sport. We have numbers, mm. but I don't know why sponsors don't don't come. You on actually time. threatened when we were off air mm. that for Uganda cranes to beat your numbers, yes. they've got to host Brazil at Brazil. Brazil. Yes. For real, for, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> for, for real, for real. Uh, wow. Yes. Even so, they're that huge. Yes. I mean, oh. Last. I thought last, football was la last weekend. <laughs> last weekend. people here. Mm. We, had, we had yes Easter. Mm. There was an event. CSC Central, CSC. Mm. Like. La the spectators was like from 40 mm. upwards. Thousand. 40 what? For thousand? For thousand mm. upwards. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, Nambole, I don't think you can... You Nambole can is 40. But, but I, don't, uh, I don't think you can have that number. Uh, like, uh, let, let me say, KCC. Uh, oh, uh, the, the, the I, I buses. Yeah, yeah. No, mm. no, no, for clubs, mm. yeah, not yet. Not. So <laughs> that's, what saying, that's what I'm saying, this was... Uh, <laughs> but then still you also have you don't have them on a regular basis so no, no, no. you can as well attract the number that once in a while no, always no, do we, it. We have, we have numbers. Mm. We have numbers. Mm. Yes. So could That's it happen of every weekend? Can you attract the same numbers yes, over? Yes. Over? Yes. Okay. Mm. Anyway, for well, me, I'm 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 also uh, sorry. I'm I'm speaking as a representative of twelve. <laughs> 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 the, weekend, the, the weekend. The weekend of twenty eighth May. May. All roads lead to. Fort Porto yeah. for the motocross. Oh. I'll see you then. <laughs> you can take all them in uh, Rotoro uh, to recap that up. Hey, hey, like you can invite people in Rotoro to, yes. to come for. I can actually care. Now we are now we are Charlie Eddie. I want to wait to be Joharali. Rotoro. I want to go to Nyuena. Then we are going to. Actually, Omkoro. Omkoro go motocross. Go motocross. Wapiki piki. Wapiki piki. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, um, Eddie. Uh, we will be taking a short break, but NTV Sport Nights is still...